have a, a bit of a design secret for you today, kind of a secret weapon that I've been using for the past 10 years on design work and graphic artwork and such. And it's this little filter set that I picked up a decade ago called Machine Wash. And this is a photo of the original disc that I've still got. And you can see the wear and tear on it. It's been dragged through different offices and moves and everywhere. And I have used this thing so much um, that it has paid for itself multiple times over. When I originally bought this disc, it was about 40 bucks, and that was that was pretty steep for me at the time. I was just starting out as, as a designer, and uh, I can safely say that it's been one of the most important purchases for uh, for design work that I've ever picked up. Um, like I said, I've used it for 10 years, and I thought I'd kind of show you how this thing works and show you the new version, um, or the latest version, which is called Machine Wash Deluxe, and it's built by a company called Mr. Retro. Uh, Mr. Retro is a very talented group of individuals behind this that have been doing this for many, many years. They do uh, fonts and artwork and other apps and just do some very cool plugins for Photoshop and uh, uh, different uh, applications. So you can see kind of an example of what it does right here on their website. And the links are in the description below. Definitely check all this stuff out. Go say hi to them. Um, you can definitely get some use out of this stuff. Uh, so yeah, what you can do is take, the, with the machine wash um, filter set, you can take your artwork and make it look kind of uh, vintage or worn or distressed or eroded and do a whole bunch of different effects to it, which is really cool. Uh, what happens is you can download the, the plugin um, and then once the plugin is installed, then you download the texture packs that you want on top of it. And you can go through the website and see what textures you want to purchase and um, where you want to which ones you want to pick up to run with. And it works all the way back to uh, Photoshop CS2 and some other Adobe products and Mac products. Um, it's very, very seamless how it, how it integrates into Photoshop and it runs like a champ. I've used this thing so many times. <laughs> uh, it's pretty crazy. And the website, you can actually go through and take a, a preview of the, the texture sets and the filter sets and see um, which ones you want to pick up and which ones you want to use. So I thought I'd show you an example of, of using one of these in a real life situation and I picked up set two um, of the texture pack. So let me kind of show you how this works within Photoshop. And I ran, I used this lately on some artwork I did for Scene Anners for one of his t-shirts. Uh, if you've seen this t-shirt on his shop, you'll notice it already has a worn or vintage look to it. But if you notice here, it doesn't. And that's because I use the machine wash um, filters to give it that look um, to get it finalized and ready to go as a t-shirt design. So this was actually the, the where I stopped right before I ran the filter set and the actual original artwork. Um, and so let's run the, uh, the vintage uh, machine wash effect on it and I can show you kind of uh, I can show you how I achieved that look for the final for the final artwork. So once you download and install the, uh, the machine wash filter, what happens is within Photoshop, you go to the filter uh, menu item and you get this entry called Mr. Retro. Now under Mr. Retro, you get machine wash deluxe and it opens this, this really cool 50s style interface, uh, which uh, is <laughs> pretty unique and pretty cool for Photoshop. So you get this window opens and you have some, some information up here and some settings. But what I want to focus on today is the is the wash tab. And when you click on the wash tab, let me uh, let me reset this so you can see what it would look like just bare bones starting out. Uh, when there's no texture selected, you you get everything grayed out, but you can see all these options that you're going to be able to play with. So let me zoom out a couple times. This is a big piece of artwork, and let me zoom out so we can see a sample of our image. Now what we want to do is we want we want to run one of the texture. Um, effects on it and give it that vintage look. So what you would do is where it says no texture, you would choose your texture and then with a drop down you can choose uh, which texture pack you have installed and I've got texture set 2 installed and these sets have grown um, substantially since the first version. The first version I think had maybe a couple dozen and now they're upwards of like 250 uh, and counting so it's pretty crazy as far as the uh, the spectrum of what type of textures and looks you can apply to your artwork and give it a, a very different look or texture um, anywhere. You can do things like uh, uh, like wood planks or bricks or stuff like this. Um, you can do just more kind of uh, noisy looking textures which is pretty cool. Uh, there's one I like called Grime. I'm going to show you Grime. Which is pretty cool to give it that worn vintage look. Now it looks pretty heavy already but uh, 
the big one of the big differences between the deluxe version and the the, the previous version is that you can actually change that on the fly. Um, it used to be you just had basically your normal wash and your heavy duty wash and now you can go through and once you apply one of these textures all of these settings light up and you can really fine tune this thing so we can turn the scale up of the overall texture effect and, and make the, uh, the texture larger against our image there uh, we can flip the orientation we can flip it on the x-axis or y-axis we can rotate it uh, you can even invert it, which gives you some very, very interesting options as, as what you can do uh, with your artwork. So you can actually, uh, yeah, you can, you can do none of the stuff you could do before. This is pretty cool. Uh, you can change the intensity so we can actually make it much more subtle or, you know, let more of the image show through or push it over the top and make it, uh, you know, a really, really heavy wash and, and really distort it up. So if I turn this back down to more subtle, this is kind of close to the effect that I did on the final for, for Adam's t-shirt. Um, you can change the wash type, which is pretty cool. So you can actually stain this with a color. So if I click stain and then choose a color, we can give the, uh, the layer effect, like let's do kind of an orangey look. And you can actually kind of distress it with, with a, a color that you choose from the picker, which is really, really cool. Um, so if I change this back to erosion, you can change um, wash edge. Now this comes in super handy for things like type. Um, wash edge, you can actually tell the, uh, the texture how far into the graphic to actually start. So you can leave a, a clean edge and then it won't start until um, a certain amount into the graphic. Now this comes in super handy with text. If you want to uh, really give type or, or uh, typography a very cool look, you can actually roughen up the interior of the uh, of your font um, of your text and leave the the border the exterior very clean and very solid, which is a very very cool effect. Um, it's something that that it, this is starting to come in handy more often. <laughs> um, you can also change the the softness or the feathering um, of of if you want that texture to fade in or fade out and how gradual you want it to uh, to start up before it comes in to the uh, the interior of the artwork so this is a, a very very cool uh, plug-in it's worth every penny um, to pick this thing up and like I said the guys behind it have been doing this for many many years they're designers and, and computer science guys and um, this whole thing just works so seamlessly and so easy with Photoshop to do this manually it, it man it saves so much time um, to do this in, in a filter rather than having to go through and try to manually go through and texturize all this stuff. So let me just show you, I came across another one, uh, porcelain, this is pretty cool. You can give it a cracked look here. Let me show you this. So if we, ch if we turn the intensity up, see, that's pretty cool. Let me zoom out again. All sorts of effects. You can give it a, kind of a stone look or um, another one that I like is like the, the wood planks type look and such. And then if you just hit OK, um, I've got this as generate wash effect in mask layer. So if I hit OK, what this will do is this will just build a mask on that layer. And the artwork will be untouched, but uh, uh, the, the texture will just be in a layer mask and you can still manipulate your artwork without having to redo everything and uh, uh, reapply everything. So it's, it's a pretty cool piece of software. Like I said, I highly, highly recommend it. I've used this um, for 10 years and counting and it's come in handy so many times and just, <laughs> it's been a real lifesaver um, um, multiple times. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. So this is pretty cool. So it ran the, uh, the porcelain texture on the scene enters art, which is a very, very cool effect. And just to show you how this, uh, the, you know, that it, that it applied to a layer mask, if we change the background color, you'll see that the background color shows through um, our vintage look. So I hope you get a kick out of this video. Um, this, is, uh, this is a secret weapon. This is something that I've been using for a long, long time, and I can't stress it enough that it's worth every penny. Uh, if you decide to pick this up, definitely go check these guys out. Links are in the description below. And uh, uh, check them out on Twitter. Go say hi. Go tell them Evan says hi. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's very, very cool. So Mr. Retro, there you go. Uh, they do artwork. They do fonts and stuff like that. Um, give them a check. Go check them out. Look them up. And uh, I hope you dig it. All right. 
So there you go, and uh, we'll be back later with uh, more artwork videos, and there you have it. All right, take care, everyone. Later. Later.